So from Luke chapter 5, we are introduced to the story. Verse 1 reads as forth. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. So we learn that, that the Lord, when he approached this lake or when he stood by the lake, the people pressed upon him, right? And they say, pressed upon him to hear the word of God. So people wanted to hear him teach. And next to the lake, there were two ships, right? Standing by the lake. But the fishermen were not there, okay? Because they were washing their nets. Because you know that when the fishermen washes, wash their nets, it means they are done for the day. They are, they are about to go home. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. So we learned that he got into Simon's ship, and he asked Simon to just push it a little bit, okay? Because the, 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 the boats, obviously, they were, they were outside the lake, just to push it a little bit on the shore of the lake. And that's what Peter did when the Lord started to teach the people. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. So when he was done teaching the people, he asked Peter, let's, let's go deep into the, into the lake and let's go do some fishing. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. So Simon is telling the Lord that we have been fishing the whole night and we have caught nothing. But I love the, the next line, the next thing that Peter says. This is what's important to me about this story. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. So Peter is telling the Lord that we have tried for the whole night, trying to fish. No success. Now the Lord is saying to them, let's go fish. And he says, okay, at thy word, I'll go do it. Remember, Peter, he's a fisherman by profession. He has a fishing business. He knows how these things work. But it's interesting how, how he chose to trust the Lord and to say to the Lord, at thy word, I'll do it. Even though it's against my better judgment. I've been trying this all night. Nothing was happening. Why would it happen again now? But he went forward and did what the Lord asked him to do. And let's learn what happened when he put his trust in the Lord. And when the Lord spoke, he heard him and responded accordingly. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. So when they threw the net in, came back with a lot of fishes. And there were so many fishes that their net broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship. You remember there were two, two ships. Now the other partners, they asked them to come. And they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the, both the ships so that they began to sink. There was so much fish, the boats themselves began to sink. Now the question is, what can we learn from this story? We learn something very important here. That Peter was a fisherman. That was his profession. And the Lord identified, maybe at that time, that Peter was not doing so great. And the Lord made it possible for, for Peter to catch fishes. But this was made possible because Peter heard the Lord. Even though the Lord, what, what he was saying did not make sense. But he listened and he responded accordingly. And the key is learning to hear the Lord. And that's why the Lord has blessed us with self-reliance groups. One of the crucial things that you learn from a self-reliance group is how to hear the Lord. The groups are special. They are a place to receive revelation and to hear the Lord telling you what to do to be more self-reliant. If you're looking for employment, you're not alone in that. The Lord can help you. All you have to do is attend the self-reliant groups so you can receive the revelation you need so you know what to do. You can get help with your business in growing or starting your business. The thing that makes self-reliance groups special than any other group is this one thing where you are in an environment where you can receive the spirit, where the Lord can guide you in making these decisions in your life. And this is what President Nelson had to say about learning to hear the Lord. He said from his talk, hear him. As disciples of Jesus Christ, our efforts to hear him need to be ever more intentional. So he's in inviting us to be intentional with hearing the Lord when he speaks to us. And self-reliance groups, they help us to learn and to be intentional in hearing the Lord. It takes conscious and consistent effort to fill our daily lives with his words, his teachings, his truths. We also hear him more clearly as we refine our ability to recognize the whisperings of the Holy Ghost. I love the word clearly. He says we also hear him more clearly as we refine our ability to recognize the whisperings of the Holy Ghost. It has never been more imperative to know how the Spirit speaks to you than right now. 
in the Godhead, the Holy Ghost is the messenger. He will bring thoughts to your mind, which the Father and Son want you to receive. He is the comforter. He will bring a feeling of peace to your heart. He testifies of truth and will confirm what is true as you hear and read the word of the Lord. Several lines groups, we have time allocated to ponder, to write down those impressions, and to invite help from an action partner so you can apply those impressions. And this is what President Nelson is saying, that for us to overcome the many challenges we are faced with, financial challenges, employment challenges, President Nelson is saying, we need to refine our ability to hear the Lord. And that's one of the key reasons the Lord has blessed us with several lines, so that he can speak to us the way he spoke to Peter and show us how to find fishes in our lives that we are busy doing all we can to find. Peter tried all night to find fishes. We are all trying to survive. The Lord knows that. And the promise is when we hear him, he can help us. That's the promise. In the Several Lines booklet, there's a message from the First Presidency that says, this booklet, meaning the Several Lines books, have been prepared to help members of the church learn and put into practice the principles of faith, education, and hard work, and trust in the Lord. So this book has been prepared to teach these principles. Principle of faith, principle of education, principle of hard work, principle of trust in the Lord. That's what Peter did. Didn't make sense, but he did it anyway. Accepting and leaving these principles, there comes a promise, will better enable you to receive the temporal blessings promised from the Lord. We invite you to diligently study and apply these principles and teach them to your family members. That's why we have several lines groups, to learn and apply these principles. And here's a promise. As you do so, your life will be blessed. You will learn how to act on your path towards greater several lines. You'll be blessed with greater hope, peace, and progress. And I know this to be true, that when we do these things, the Lord will help us. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.